Now in this part of the question, we're told that the tangents at A and B meet at the point P, and we're asked to find the length of AP. Now to do this, what you've got to remember is that a tangent always makes an angle of 90 degrees with the radius at the point of contact. So what we've got here is essentially a 90 degree angle, a right angle. And if I was to drop a line down from N to P, we've got a right angle triangle. And if I want to find the length then in a right angle triangle, as long as I know one side, which I do, the radius here, 13 over 2, and an angle in the triangle other than 90 degrees, which I do know, this angle in here, it's half the angle that we found earlier, angle ANB, I can use trigonometry. So let's get this angle, angle ANP. So knowing that ANB is 134.76 naught and so on, we can therefore get angle ANP, because it's going to be just obviously half of that. So if we divide that by 2, what we get is 67.380 and so on degrees. Now that I've got that angle, I want AP, and AP is opposite the angle that we're going to use. So we've got the opposite side, and we've got the adjacent side to the angle. So that's tangent. We therefore know that the tan of the angle 67.380 and so on is equal to the opposite side, AP, divided by the adjacent side, 13 over 2, the radius here. So 13 over 2. So to get AP, all I need to do is multiply both sides by 13 over 2. So you've got 13 over 2 multiplied by the tan of 67.380 and so on degrees. Now if you do this on your calculator, what you get is exactly 15.6. Well I certainly did because I kept these numbers in the memory on my calculator. And the funny thing is that this question says give your answer to three significant figures. Well, if you had not kept all these numbers in your calculator, you'd get uh, another decimal, but when rounded you would actually end up with 15.6. But in actual fact, as I say, it's 15.6 exactly. Okay, well, that brings us now to the end of this question on circles. So I hope you found that uh, useful.